All right, this is Igor Macedo and I'll show you one of the vast amount of things that Bake to Texture or BTT can do for you. Here we're just gonna tweak this script a little. In this case, I'll change the rendering resolution of the baking that will be fully automated to 1024 by 1024. And then let me just save it. And we're good. So here we have our script, and all you have to do is put it in the startup folder of 3ds Max. When you're ready, you can go to the Customize menu, then select Customize User Interface, and on the Menus tab, we'll click New. For this demo, I'll just name it Custom Scripts, and in the bottom left panel, you can find your custom menu that you just created. Just drag it somewhere around the main menu bar. And then you can go to the left panel and select your custom script and add to your custom menu. You can see that it is already accessible. Now we select the mesh and click your custom script. What this script is doing is basically getting all information of lighting, shadows, indirect and direct illumination and baking it in a single atlas map. This is then applied to the mesh which gets the second channel of the material copied to the first channel and then added as a diffuse texture so we can see the results in real time right in the viewport. Now let's see how the final application is. On the left you can see a WebGL application using the dataset that we just baked and on the right you can see a WebXR for AR augmented reality using the exact dataset that we just saw. Thank you everyone and see you on the next video.